Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to Money Trains. As you guys can see here from the title, I'm back at it again with a session with my coach. So before we get into things, make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel, like the video and comment down below your thoughts on the session. But yeah, before all of this that you guys are seeing, which is just touch passes, I did do a warm up by myself um, before we got into the session, but I didn't record it on this occasion. But it's just normal things, um, just getting the blood from my body, just so that I'm mentally prepared and physically for the session. But yeah, the first drill is nothing too crazy, just really basic. So I'm literally just passing it in. My coach will stop it. And then I'm gonna walk up to the ball or jog up to the ball, pass it again and vice versa. So my coach is gonna pass it to me now and I'm gonna stop it. And yeah, just we're gonna do that for a few times round and then we will get into the next drill. So I'll let you guys watch this out and I'll see you in the next drill. So the next part of the session you're going to see is a dynamic warm up again. Um, now it's really just so that we're getting the full range of motion that the body is going to go through um, throughout the session. So you want to make sure that your, your, your muscles are actually prepared so that when you get into the session you're not stiff or you don't pull any muscles or things like that so it's really important that you do this before you get into the main part of the session where it gets really intense and stuff so I'm gonna speed this part up because um, yeah this part is not really football based just a warm-up so I'm just gonna let you guys watch out the rest of it and then I'll explain the next drill to you when it does come Okay, so the next drill that you're about to see is basically we're doing shuttle runs, but we're only doing it to the first cone and back. Um, so just for 45 seconds, I'm literally just getting nice, small, sharp touches. And we're going back and forth from, that, from the first cone back to the start line. And yeah, so that's it really for this part. But then we move on to the second cone so I go twice to the first cone and back and then we progress it and go to the second cone second cone <clears throat> and I go twice and back and then I rest there so I'll let you guys watch it out and then I'll catch you guys at the next drill Okay, so next drill you're about to see. So what it is, my cone's gonna be in the middle of the grid that he set up there. And I'm just gonna dribble out to the middle section before him. And then I'm gonna pass it to him. 
and I'm gonna call out a direction where I want it, him to lay it off so that it's, it's sharp and he knows what I know what I'm gonna do before I receive the ball again or where I'm gonna drop my shoulder and then I'm gonna when as soon as I get to the ball I'm gonna try to explode away um, from him so that so it's just it's, it's, it's really basic really this is really basic it's not nothing too extravagant or anything so yeah a lot of the drills you're gonna see in today's session it are really basic drills um, and we've done a lot of like fitness work as well because we hadn't trained for a week or so due to um, other things going on but yeah I will let you guys watch this part out and I will talk to you guys through the next drill when it comes So the next rule you're about to see is for me as a defender because I do play right back and also centre back but um, this drill is basically so that I'm able to when I'm defending I'm able to twist my hips quick enough so that when the attacker is, is moving in different directions I'm not like falling over my foot or or, the, or like slipping or anything so this this is really good for for you as a defender if you want to perfect that body shape when you're defending so yeah i'll let you guys watch out the rest of it and then catch you guys at the next drill so what we got into here next is some really um just um touch just working on my touch really um so my coach has got the ball in his hand and i'm just trying to hit it back straight back into his hand getting a good contact on the ball as well um yeah so as i said before at the start like she has really basic drills um but i feel like once you've mastered all of the basic drills like these like these ones I feel like everything else becomes easier so you need to be working on these like constantly consistently because once you get these down trust me your game you will see a, a big difference once you get once you master the basics so yeah i'll let you guys watch this out and then I'll see you at the next drill So the next show that's happening now, this time we're doing a bit of heading. So I'm going to do one short header where I come in, punch hair back into my coach's hands. Then I drop back, leap in the air, back into his hands, 
one to the right, one to the left, and back to the start. Really simple, really good drill for you as a defender as well. You definitely need to work on your heading if you want to be a good defender. Oh, and then he, <laughs> then he knocked out the um, camera there with that header. It's really powerful. But yeah, I'll let you guys watch it out. Just enjoy this. And then, oh, yeah, that was a poor one there. But yeah, and then I'll catch you guys at the next drill. Okay, so next drill you're gonna see here. So the grid that we got set up here, we're actually putting it to use now. So what's gonna happen here is, um, I'm gonna go around the grid once, just jog around, light jog, light jog, and then we add in some dynamic movement. So add in a few high knees, we add in a few kick outs, and we add in a, a few sharp little bursts of sprints. That's it for this part that you're gonna see. Um, and then also after this, you're gonna see me do go around the drill with the ball as well. So, so yeah, it's gonna be straight, then I'm gonna go diagonal. So it's basically stuff that you will do it do in the game really so you're not always going to dribble in a straight line sometimes you're going to have to turn left sometimes you're going to have to turn right so it is really game realistic what you're going to see um in this next few bits of this session so yeah i'll let you guys watch this out and then i'll catch you guys in the next drill So last drill for today, so it's basically finish off a bit of fitness, shot runs. So first cone back, second cone back, third cone back, and so on and so forth. So I did it once with the ball and once without the ball. So that's it for today really. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more content like this. I'm going to be doing a lot of more sessions with my coach. So you're going to be seeing a lot more of me in the next few weeks. But yeah, hope you guys like the video. Comment your thoughts and let me know what drills you guys want to see next. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.